with Citefinity 10.0, the authentication mechanism has changed. And in this video, I will show you how to achieve Windows authentication with the latest version of Citefinity. The first step is to unzip and open the Windows Out Web Host project. It comes with Citefinity and after this build this project into Visual Studio. When you are ready with the build, host your project on IIS. Once you are ready, go back to the web config file and set the ID reply URL setting to the URL of the website that is going to use the authentication mechanism. This URL points to the place to which the app will redirect once the authentication is successful. So let's go and check which are the base settings that we need to set up. The first thing is to set up the metadata address. It points directly to the project which is already hosted on the IS. After this, we are going to set and create a new authentication provider, which we are going to call progress for the purpose of our demo. Here is the name and the type that we need to use. Once we are ready, we have to set up the default LDAP connections. This is going to take all of the uh, usernames uh, from uh, progress and we will list it into our users section. So let's go and search for my username and see what kind of options we have. Here is my username and it's also editable. You can assign different roles and change all of the details. So let's go and test now how our Windows authentication is working. Here is the quantum demo and we are going to insert our Windows credentials. Once we are logged in, we will be redirected to the home page of the website. In case that you have questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.